Tune into Nice Radio every Saturday at 7:30 a.m. for A View from the Outside, hosted by Brayton Horn. A View from the Outside takes a look at key issues affecting St. Vincent and the Grenadines and gives a global perspective on how these issues are viewed. Host Brayton Horn will examine a variety of topics to enlighten, stimulate debate, and explore solutions. Hear the facts, hear the real life stories, hear a view from the outside. Join Brayton Horn at 7:30 a.m. every Saturday on Nice Radio for a view from the outside. On a view from the outside this week. This week being the 15th of January 2022, we look at responsibility, with the view being that it is high time that Vincentians at home in St. Vincent and the Grenadines especially accept the responsibility conferred by citizenship and residence and refuse to be treated with the bullish autocracy which has arisen in the country. The Merriam-Webster Dictionary defines responsibility as a duty or task that you are required or expected to do. That definition tells us that responsibility is a duty, a duty to do something that one has to do. The definition also tells us that responsibility is a task which is expected of one to carry out. This morning, on a view from the outside, we have chosen to combine the definition of responsibility with the stewardship of citizenship and residence and ask some probing questions of our fellow Vincentians. Each citizen and or resident of St. Vincent and the Grenadines has the task or the responsibility to ensure the following things, among others. Each has the responsibility to obey, protect, and uphold the constitution of the country. That is a responsibility which we all have. Therefore, where we have evidence of a regime which flagrantly and blatantly abuses the constitution of the country, it is our responsibility, our task as citizens, and residents to intervene and remind that regime that we have a stake in the country and that we cannot allow them to disrespect, ignore, or flagrantly flout our constitution. Have you been doing that? If the answer is no, then you must start doing that. We must all do that. We must obey, protect, and uphold the Constitution to prevent our country from plunging further into crisis and chaos. Each of us has the responsibility to take part in the democratic processes of the country. We must not remain indifferent or neutral. We must not remain silent. We must not cower in fear. St. Vincent and the Grenadines belongs to all of us and we must all stand up and ensure that we take part in deciding who runs the country and how the country is run. If we see a regime which bullies its way in the parliament of the country and twists and bends and even changes the rules to suit their own ends, then we as citizens and our residents have the responsibility to step in and let them know that we are the custodians of our country and that we must protect our democratic processes. When you have it been declared autocratically in parliament during the budget debate that, and I quote, I will do what I have to do to get the bill passed. Unquote. Then it is incumbent on you to take your responsibility seriously and put an end to such autocratic musings and behavior. We must stop them from making a mockery 
of the rule of law and the democratic principles and procedures. Have you been doing that? Have you been taking on your responsibility? If you have, then we commend and applaud you. If you haven't, well, it's time for you to start. Take on that responsibility to protect our country. Each citizen and or resident of St. Vincent and the Grenadines has the task or the responsibility to ensure that we stay informed with the issues affecting our communities and our country. We have the responsibility to ensure that we speak up and speak out for bigger bigs who still languishes without compensation for the spiteful destruction of his multi-million dollar business. We have the responsibility to ensure that we speak up and speak out against injustice and that we speak up and speak out for Marcus Defratus, Simone Murray and Dr. Wayne Murray and their families and all the landowners of the country, all the landowners in the country who have been unjustly dispossessed of their land by a regime which has shown a complete disregard for the rule of law. We cannot continue to ignore our responsibility and not seek out justice for Yogi Farrell and all the women and girls and boys also of St. Vincent and the Grenadines who have been used and abused and cast aside in the most inhumane and unjust way. We must uphold our responsibility and continue to demand justice for Cornelius John, especially when we see the blatant injustice meted out to him, where those accused of invading the privacy of his home and participated in shooting him in his leg, continue to occupy influential and lawmaking positions in the country. We must not shirk our responsibility to speak up and speak out for the teachers, the policemen and police women, and other public servants who were callously and brutally fired from their jobs for exercising their constitutional right not to be forced to take a vaccine. Whether we are Christian, atheist or otherwise, that is a responsibility which we must not neglect. We must not hide and not call out the suppression of freedom of speech and freedom of expression, freedom of association. We must uphold our responsibility and speak up and speak out. When we see the police seizing drums and placards of protesters to suppress their constitutional right to protest. When we see the police wantonly and arbitrarily arresting citizens, we must accept our responsibility and speak up and speak out. They must not be allowed to continue with such illegality. When we see the use of the black squad police officers with their guns and ammunition on display, used to invade the homes of citizens and intimidate them, in the presence of their children. We must not dodge our responsibility to speak up and speak out against such atrocity and injustice. Each citizen and or resident of St. Vincent and the Grenadines has the task or the responsibility to ensure that we show respect to each other. Therefore, where we have a regime which disrespects the very people who it is meant to depend on for its survival in power, then it is time to uphold one's responsibility and stop them from continuing such disrespect and contempt. It is time to let them know who has the real power. The real power lies with the people. 
The real power lies in the people. The real power lies in you, the people. So, there we have it. Those are just some of the responsibilities which the citizens and residents of St. Vincent and the Grenadines are expected to carry out. We must not wait until the injustice reaches our door, your door, to speak up and speak out. We must not wait until the injustice reaches our bedrooms, your bedroom, to speak up and speak out. We must not wait until the injustice directly strikes at a family member and or a close friend to speak up and speak out. We must not wait until we are the ones who are insulted ignominiously to speak up and speak out. Use the power conferred on you and accept your responsibility and ensure that you have a government for all the people of the country. No more procrastination. No more putting off. No more accepting old talk. No more being bamboozled and hoodwinked. There simply comes a time when enough is really enough. Vincentians, there we are. The ball is in your court. We, on a view from the outside, encourage you to take your destiny in your own hands and ensure that you perform your responsibilities to our people, your people, to our country, your country. In accepting our continuing responsibilities, we encourage you to digest the words of the legendary civil rights leader, Martin Luther King Jr. He said, and I quote, the time is always right to do what is right, unquote. Vincentians, the time is right for all of us to face up to our responsibility. Until next week, Justin and all of the listeners, this is Britton Horn with a reminder to send your feedback as usual to a view from the outside at hotmail.com. We also invite you to visit and like our Facebook page at a view from the outside and to subscribe to our YouTube channel at JMB Horn.